let me. I tell you what to do. Get in. Get. Get in, Bella. No. Get in. I'm disappointing you, mommy. Get in. Get in, Bella. Bella. Bella, get in. Come in. Lady Kim here, and welcome to another episode of Hosanna Kids Online. So excited that you all are joining us today. We have some great, great things in store for you. But before we get started, we want to open up with a word of prayer because we want to thank Jesus for his many blessings. Amen. So let us bow our heads, close our eyes, and let's pray. Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for your blessings. We thank you for who you are and who you are in our lives. You are just so good. We honor you and we praise you, God, for all things, Father. Now we invite you into our space. We invite you into our hearts and minds and ask that you have your way. Continue to bless us and continue to direct our paths. We love you in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. All right. I hope you guys are ready for praise and worship because I know that I am. I cannot wait. All right. So I want you guys to get engaged, get involved, get those voices ready, get our hearts ready, and let's worship the Father. Come on.
All right. I hope that you had a great, exciting time in worship. I know that I did. Long last week, we talked about purpose. Do you remember what purpose means? What is purpose? Well, purpose simply means what we have been created to do. As we discussed, everything, everybody has been created with a purpose, including you. And our job and our responsibility is to find out what our purpose is so that we can glorify God, our father. And we talked about there's so many people in the Bible who carried out their purpose and figured out what God has called them to do. But before we talk about them, we got to take it all the way back. We got to take it back to Genesis one. So I want you to watch this short clip about in the beginning, and then we'll come back with our discussion. Stories of the Bible. Creation. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was empty, formless, and dark. But the Spirit of God was there. On the first day, God said, Let there be light. And God saw that the light was good. Then He separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day and the darkness night. On the second day, God said, Let there be a space to separate the waters of the heavens from the waters of the earth. God called the space sky. On the third day, God said, Let the waters beneath the sky flow together into one place so dry ground may appear. God called the dry ground land and the waters seas, and God saw that it was good. Then God said, let the land sprout with every sort of plant and tree, and God saw that it was good. On the fourth day, God said, let lights appear in the sky to separate the day from the night. God made two great lights, the sun for the day and the moon for the night. He also made the stars. God set these lights in the sky to light the earth, and God saw that it was good. On the fifth day, God said, let the water swarm with fish and other life. Let the skies be filled with birds of every kind, and God saw that it was good. On the sixth day, God said, let the earth make every sort of animal. God made all sorts of wild animals, livestock and small animals, each able to have babies of the same kind. And God saw that it was good. Then God said, let us make man in our image to be like us. So God created man in his own image. He formed man from the dust of the ground. He breathed the breath of life into man, and a man became alive. Then he saw that the man needed a helper, so God put man into a deep sleep, and while he slept, God took one of the man's ribs, then God made a woman from the rib and brought her to the man. Hello. Hi. Then God blessed them and said, Be fruitful and multiply. Fill the earth and rule over it. Rule over the fish in the sea, Hello. the birds in the sky, Hello, bird. and all the animals that scurry along the ground. <laughs> then God said, Look, I have given you every plant throughout the earth and all the fruit trees for your food, and I have given you every green plant as food for all the animals. Then God looked over all he had made, and he saw that it was very good. So the creation of the heavens and the earth and everything in them was done. So on the seventh day, God rested from all his work and God blessed the seventh day and said it was holy.
All right, so in Genesis 1, we talked about in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And it goes on to talk about the various things that he created. And towards the end, he created man. Do you remember who the first man and woman was? You guessed it right. It is Adam and Eve. And just like Adam and Eve and just like the animals, the stars, the space, the moon, the trees, all things God created with a purpose. Everything that God created, including you, you are good. He created everything with a purpose. And that purpose is to glorify him. So in all things, make sure in everything that you do, make sure that you're giving God the glory. Next, we're going to enjoy our arts and crafts with Miss Leilani. Take it away, Miss Leilani. Hi. My name is Leilani. I'm a senior at Savannah State. I major in art and today I'm going to teach you how to make this craft. Today we're doing finger painting. I really hope you will enjoy and let's get started. For today's supplies, you'll need finger paint paint, masking tape, craft paper, and a sheet of mini poster board. So I'm going to start off by taking my masking tape and I'm going to tape down any design that I would like. Make sure that you tape it down to the shiny side. That way you'll have an easier time taking off the tape without ripping off all your paper. I'm smoothing it down after I apply my tape to make sure there's a clean line. I got my mini poster board from Walmart. It's 33 cents. If you want to make multiple finger paintings, you can buy a large poster board and sometimes they range from 50 cents all the way up to a dollar. When thinking of a design, when you're putting down your tape, you have to choose something that has a lot of um, straight lines. It can't have curves in it because it's hard to tape down curves on tape. I chose like a zigzag line that kind of makes four triangles. When you're ripping off the ends of the tape, you can use your fingers. You don't need scissors necessarily, but if you want to, you can. This is what my design looks like. Now we're going to do the fun part. We're going to take our finger paint and we're going to do dots. This technique is called pointillism. It was developed by the post-impressionist painter George Seurat. The technique of pointillism uses tiny dots of pure colors to trick the eye into thinking that there's more shades than you actually use. But we're just having fun and we're just putting down dots wherever you want and what pattern you would like. You can space them out or you can put them really close together. You can use whatever finger you like. I'm using my middle finger and it's giving me pretty like larger dots. But if you want smaller dots, you can use your pinky or even the very tip of your finger if you want to do really, really small dots. You don't even have to use the same color next to each other if you want to space it out and do different sections of one color, then do a different section of colors, or do very large spaced out dots and then go back in with a different color and do more dots. You can do that as well. The method that I'm using is just dipping my finger into the finger paint and just patting it up and down. I'm not smearing it, I'm not um, swiping my finger, I'm just going up and down. To clean my finger off, I'm using my craft paper to just wipe my fingers off. So 
so I don't have to get up and wash my hands until I'm finished. That's what makes craft paper important. You can use it to wipe off your fingers and it stops you from leaving a mess on your table. Now I'm going in with green with a different finger. I'm using my ring finger and I'm just putting more dots. Just have fun, do whatever you feel like doing, wherever the spirit moves you to put your dots, put them wherever you like. Because we're using the shinier side of our poster board, it's going to take a little bit longer to dry, but it makes it easier to take the tape off. If you're feeling bold, you can mix two different colors on your finger and make like a gradient of color or like you can mix two primary colors and get a secondary color. I know my kid didn't have purple. I could have made purple on my fingers if I wanted to by mixing red and blue or I couldn't make orange by mixing red and yellow. Now I'm taking red, I'm taking the top off and I'm dipping into the red with my pinky to have a little smaller dot as you can see. Another tip is to make sure that you put the tops back on when you're finished so your paint won't dry out. The paint that I got was from Dollar Tree, it was a dollar. You could use acrylic paint if you want to, just make sure it's non-toxic and water soluble. When you're doing your finger painting, it's okay if you get paint on the tape, that's what it's there for. We're going to remove the tape once it's dry so you can have a clean line. So feel free to put as much paint all over your poster board. For my last color, I'm going in with yellow and I'm going to take the top off and dip my clean finger, which is my thumb, and we're going to make big yellow dots. Now that I'm all done, I'm going to put the lid back on to my yellow finger paint. I'm going to place my painting to the side and let it air dry. This is what it looks like.
once you put your paint to the side, make sure you wash your hands to get all the paint off of your fingers and underneath your nails. Once it's completely dry, <laughs> you can peel off the tape. It's a little tricky to know which piece to start off with, but the piece that you started off with last, that's the piece you're going to take off first. Or you can just do what I did. I just randomly saw a piece that wasn't covered and I just pulled that one. When pulling the tape off, you want to have a steady pull so you don't accidentally pull off some of the poster board. Just be patient and a little gentle so you can pull off all the tape. If you do so happen to accidentally tear your paper, you can dip your finger back into some paint and fix whatever little dots you want. Make sure you throw away all of your tape. Cleanup is very important. This is what my other finger painting looked like. I hope you enjoyed finger painting with me. Thank you so much for painting with me today. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll catch you on the next one. Bye. I hope that you guys enjoy Arts and Crafts with Miss Leilani. We would love to see them. Send us a picture of your project and share with us what uh, the exciting time that you had with it. We would love to hear from you. We want to give you an opportunity to invite Jesus to be the Lord and Savior of your life. If you have never accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, Pastor Matt is going to um, guide you through the invitation of discipleship. Take it away, Pastor Matt. Hey kids, Pastor Matt here. Listen, I hope that you have really enjoyed our program today. I want to take just a few moments to invite you to have a relationship with Jesus Christ. So right where you are, if you would just pray this simple prayer. Say, Lord Jesus, I ask that you come into my heart. Be my Lord. Be my Savior. I accept you this day. In Jesus' name, amen. Listen, if you've prayed that prayer then you have a relationship with Jesus Christ. I want you to talk to your parents, talk to your teachers, and reach out to us on our Facebook page, uh, our inbox, and let us know that, Pastor, I gave my life to Christ today. We look forward to connecting with you, and I hope to see you again soon. I'm Pastor Matt, and I'm signing off. Let's go, kids! I hope that you guys enjoyed this week's episode of Hosanna Kids Online. I know that I had fun with you. Stay tuned next week as we come back with a new episode, new arts and crafts, new story time, and everything galore. All right. Happy Saturday to you. Remember, God is love. He loves you, and you have been created with a purpose. Walk in it. Take care.